You ain't been doing for real all that gas, but you ain't been doing it. Stop lying. Y'all lie like shit. Like, for real, y'all lie more than going to jail. What's up, K-Mama, that fin bay I What up, what up? It's your boy, Keith. Keith the GOAT. Keith the President. Big Keith with a big Y and a big mouth, but ain't nobody what? Right, put me in it. Yeah, yeah, you get it, you get it. What's up, y'all? So today we are doing our very first Driving with Keith and Remy. Ah! so real today is just gonna be a good day you know what no i'm lying i'm lying today's not gonna be a good day it is 108 degrees right now in houston don't know who in the hot monkey hell left the stove on last night but we need to exterminate them immediately it's too hot out here i don't know how y'all like justify this or just normalize it but this is not how regular people us northwest like i'm from the pcf uh, we know. Okay, wait, first off, it's the PNW. I'm from the Pacific Northwest, you know. I'm a West Coast baby, and it gets hot. You know, I've seen 101 before on a very, very hot, devilish summer, but it's never, it's just not this every day. It's not, and mind you, it's, it's 524. This is, this is not the weather that is supposed to be happening right now. I'm very irritated. It's hot, it's greasy, dewy everywhere, but... Lose my uh, How have y'all been? We have a lot to talk about today. I don't know the city, and y'all know, I just moved out here. So today, instead of going out by stuff i'm gonna learn how to save money because my spending is ridiculous if you are the debt collectors watching this actually i have no money i'm very poor i'm living check to check like i don't know why i bought this car the repo man about to come get it this month so you can go ahead and just ignore me if you're not the debt collectors i need to stop spending money so today we're gonna be learning the streets i go to a specific spot to charge my car right and yesterday i noticed that it really isn't that far i tried to wait a little bit later in the day because i don't want to be on the highway when the land is waking up look at there's y'all i okay oh i was going talk about it later but what is a constable you know what no i am gonna talk about it later because i'm over it that might be the first time we talk about it. let's just get it going i'm gonna try to learn my way i had to charge my car last night so i'm gonna try to get to the place i used to charge my car if that makes sense i don't think i said that right i'm basically gonna try to go to the place that i went to last night to charge my car off of memory obviously i'm not too worked up about it because if i do end up messing up gps right here but we're gonna try to learn how to get there and back y'all know these batteries die quick so let me hurry <laughs> get to going all this talking i'm still a, like a chevy malibu bitch at heart because i still turn my body all the way around when i turn around even though i got a camera right here just because it don't feel right when i do it i miss chevy on do y'all y'all miss chevy on i remember my first sneaky link in heart oh my god <laughs> i'm over i don't want to talk about that i'll talk about it I just know it got inappropriate quick that inappropriate really 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 quick but he was weird like he was always telling me to link and then like after because you know i just <laughs> I just got it like that. Well, always try to tell me the link, and I would be like, okay, what you want to do? He'd be like, but it needs to be at your house. I didn't sneak somebody into my house for the first time, literally until the day before I moved to the Galaxy house. And that day, I just kind of figured, well, I mean, they catch me my flight in a few hours. So what they gonna do? <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, I got some topics for us today. I'm coming prepared. You know, we're taking this YouTube shit serious. I didn't really realize that I'm low-key like a YouTuber now. And when, with being a YouTuber, you have to act like one and have the responsibility of one. So I'm trying not to cuss too much in this video, but no promises. Y'all know I get to around minute 30. 35 and it's just be cuss, 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 cuss. I'm actually, you know, today's gonna be my last day cussing. So I should get out my system, but I'm gonna try, I'm gonna still try not to because I'm a, I'm a real man. And real men, we gotta make decisions like that, you know, for our family. I gotta feed, I gotta feed the clan. Anyway, so let me go ahead and look at my, I feel so official! Making a dragon with keys. I got my window this time. I just look good, like, girl, who want, who is trying to eat some butt? If you nibble wreck them, I got one for you. But you gotta be cute and you gotta be a man and you gotta be like over 20. And you know, money is not a problem. Money doesn't attract me, but don't come over here without none. I right, bet. So I don't ever drive with um that, you know, that Doctor Strange pack on me only because out here, I, I don't know if it's legal or not. I heard, but see, there's dispensaries out here. So I'm not understanding where the line goes. But all I know is- I don't wanna be caught with it. First, I'm in the South, so I'm just overly scared. I haven't had any like run-ins with any cops, thankfully. Let's hope it stays like that. But I've never seen any cop car say constable. Don't know what that is. Don't know where she's from. But it sounds like she beat niggas. I just want to go ahead and stay away from her. That don't sound like something I need to be around. Also, this morning, I Googled, what, like, is it legal to have marijuana here? And it said that it wasn't. So then I'm like, okay. And it said that even recreational, recreational, rec- I don't even know. And apparently, you could be um, penalized with 180 days in prison. Hell no. You can go ahead and keep it. The Zod never that important. To have it in my car, mind you, was hot as hell out here. So as soon as I would have rolled down that window, pressure. I would have rolled the window down and it would be like, ah! You know what I mean? Hell loud. I'm not sure if I get in the freeway right here. Oh, I do. Okay. I don't got the, um, I don't got the like instructions in front of me but i can see the freeway entrance on the screen oh my god okay so from what i remember last night the freeway is the one i get off at it's not oh damn 
wait. I know it's the second one, but I don't know what comes after that. No Shay, we might just have to, we might just have to just figure it out. We're gonna have to just figure it out, honestly. If I get too scared though, if I start looking like I'm getting a freeway and the entrance says Dallas, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and ask Siri. But anywho, yeah, so I think that 180 days in jail over some tree is crazy because then you're a felon. Mind you, you know when y'all are, oh, he about to, what is he doing? He drives so stupid out here. I just, uh. once you're a felon, you cannot be around guns. You can't own a gun, none of that. You can't even protect your family. I can go into jail, do a year or two, whatever the, whatever the case may be. Whatever it makes you to be a felon. 20 years later, be on my P's and Q's, start a business, start a family. I can't even have an Uzi. A nigga running my shit, some bear mace, that's all I can do. I'm over it. Cause I don't need the constable knocking on my door. Like that don't even, that don't sound crazy. Cause then I've seen sheriff cars out here too. Maybe I didn't, maybe I'm lying, but I'm pretty sure I've seen sheriff cars. What's the difference between a constable and a, it just, constable, that sound racist. He sound like he beat niggas up, I don't want it. I'm not trying to be put on no shirt, I ain't trying to be no movement. I love the cause, I don't want to be the reason for it to start. I'm cool with, I'm really cool off all that. White people are so overly ghetto, like they don't never just do shit that they're supposed to do, they always take it the extra. So I feel like if I were to ever get caught with something in my car, I'd not street smart so I wouldn't know what to say. I'd probably just start snitching on myself and at that point I'm caught. You know what I mean? And that's exactly what they want. And then he's gonna whoop my ass. White people have some crazy ass God complex to think that they're not hella ratchet and that they're better than everybody. White people are ghetto. They're ghetto in their hood. One of the first STDs came from a white man having sex with a walrus thinking it was a mermaid. Even if you thought that was the case, what about a walrus is like, I'm definitely I'm definitely about to eat it out. Mm -hmm. I'm cool. White people are ghetto. They do ghetto shit. They shoot schools and, you know, steal land from people. Oh my God, my way back home, I got to stop at the bank. Because y'all remember in my little story time that I made on TikTok that I had said that Wayfair messed up my whole thing. They didn't come do what they were supposed to do. They ended up seeing the TikTok because it went viral and then sending someone over to come fix it. Don't know how they found my information because the information on Wayfair is different from the information on TikTok. But, you know, like I said, white people, they're going to figure it out. They're ghetto. They do shit. They're, they're thieves. Okay, I need someone to start... Oh, hell no. I, um, I gotta stop at the bank because the white people done gave me a check and gave me a refund for you know, my time and my energy as they should because the black man is speaking now. But this is where I'm I'm a little irritated. Why did they have the nerve to send me a check in the mail? I had to wait like two weeks for that shit. I'm thinking it's about to be like, I don't know, maybe like $400. I thought they were reimbursing me for everything. Why the check say 122? Oh my God, like move! Okay, so I know it's not this exit. I take my next exit. Ah, oh, we lowering it. Wait, maybe this is not where I'm supposed to go. Wait, no, this is it. No, this is it. This is it. <laughs> Scaring me a little bit. Oh no, yeah, I got on the wrong. I got on the wrong one. Wait, but did I? No, I didn't. Oh yes, I got the. Oh, I'm really learning. I'm y'all. I think I'm down the street. I just basically got here. I literally got to just take this little left. I just learned how to get. Is that the constable? Uh, Maybe I'll go to um Chick-fil-A or something. Nah, nah, that's the white man. Shit, I ain't going to Popeyes either because y'all watched how they clone Tyrone. Shit. They won't be getting me. Oh, 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 we know life is on the and you can fuck with lane. When a license, ah, oh, get my bitch her else. I think this is my freeway right here, y'all. I am nervous. Is because now this one, this way back is a little bit more complicated. I gotta take a left, I gotta take a right, I gotta get on the freeway, I gotta get off that bitch. Trying to learn the streets, I'm trying to learn the roads and like the highway and the entrances and stuff. Cause that'd be my biggest problem. When I look, when I look at the screen, I can never tell like, okay, am I supposed to get on the entrance now or am I supposed to get on the next one over or something like that? But I didn't realize that there's numbers. They're numbered actually. In Seattle, I never had to do really pay attention to shit like that because I grew up there, so I obviously knew where to go and where to not go. Now I need to start paying a little bit more attention. There's hella traffic on the freeway oh my god y'all look at the traffic it's stupid traffic right now ah they didn't kind of oh damn i know he high he got his shirt off you know when a big nigga take his shirt off he tired that fat that, that, that's that fat not nothing to play with that's like wearing a big mink coat on you trust me as a fat bitch in remission i'm learning i'm learning how it go i'm honestly the fact that i'm not sweating out my drawers right now is crazy old keys like a keys from maybe a year ago, six months ago, shit. I would be drowned right now. Flooded. Flood. Oh, really? In a fucking Mazda. Ain't that about a bitch. Ow! They drive so stupid out here. Oh, but he cute though. He. See, I was gonna try to pull up on him, but he hopped about the lane. Okay. 
with your matte purple BMW. Okay, ass. You can tell I got some balls since I've got my car. Remy has definitely upped my status a little bit. She definitely has. I was always a bad bitch. I was a bad bitch in a Chevy, but now I'm a badder bitch in a Tesla. Chevy Anna had all types of shit wrong with her. She wasn't fast. Like, this, in this car, I had to get used to, as soon as I put my big toe on that motherfucker, we going 30 to 60. And Chevy Anna, I could put the pedal on the gas all the way, and it would still be going, like, slow or going, like, the pace it was supposed to go, or it was already going, but then it would randomly, like, and we would just start flying. I'd be like, now hold on. I used to hate going up real steep hills and shit because the car would be like this. You thought I was getting back shots or something. Uh, uh. Uh, my, I, did, I had a fishbowl. Cheviana was definitely a fishbowl. I didn't think no one would ever notice, but one day someone commented on one of my driving with Keesis. If that's you and you're watching this, what the hell? Now that I got a cute little tin on here and my car go fast, I'm feeling it. I feel like someone's trying to be on the way to cut me off. Oh, baby, all I gotta do is press that gas. You'll be stuck. Your car hit the pole fucking with me. You better learn better. You better learn, nigga. It's just as wrong. Oh! Wow! Always a Ford Explorer. Anytime a Ford Explorer is next to me, you can have it, bitch. The road is yours. Y'all don't got shit to lose. A bitch in a Ford Explorer always got someone laying down the trunk. It be three badass kids in the middle row. It's either a baby mom or a baby dad. It'll never just be two of them, though. It'll always be one. I have never seen a new Ford Explorer. That bitch always got a hubcap missing. The rims be twerking. I just be like, no. You ever look at a car, you be like, ah, uh, that bump in the back don't look new. It look like you didn't have that bitch for a few trimesters. You can go ahead and just keep it, because your insurance is booted. Ah, oh, there's Bank of America. Gotta go cash my Checking for $122. Damn, that'll get me like two groceries. I almost got a Benz. I, I almost did not get this car. I almost got a Benz, but then I was like, see, I don't got time for a hubcap to fall off or I need an oil change. And they'd be like, hi, yeah, your total is $2,200. Oh. Well, how about you go ahead and keep that bitch in the shop till May? Hope it don't bounce it. It's no fraudulent shit. You gotta flick it a little bit. Make sure the sun don't reflect through it. Y'all, I do not give white people their pops ever, but I got to. This, there's some white music. It be good sometimes. This young girl, ah! she's wearing fresh pair of shoes. Cause not fresh. Video, 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 video. You know he was talking about a white bitch. She had on her Converse. You made me do my two ah! all day, day. So you should be my girlfriend all day. Okay, so I'm about to go cash in my food stamps check. <laughs> I'm back. Why is my back sweaty? It's not the whole back, but that lower back right there where the back shots make all the noise, a little swampy. It is a little dewy. I'm not gonna say swampy like swamp ass, but it's definitely some humidity back there. You know what I mean? But I um, can't believe I deposited that check. Like, I'm rich. I'm so rich. I can get me four whole watermelons. I mean, shit. For $122, you could have cash at me that. I'm thinking back about how I said you really cannot have like a gun after you have a felony, which is so crazy because imagine you're with your son or something and then someone rob you and him like what you gonna do i said give me your lunch pair little nigga see why people do ignorant shit like why'd you have to park right next to me oh my god no i didn't even finish what i was trying to say earlier because when i drive and i get distracted girl y'all know i already got adhd so imagine having to worry about not flipping over and exploding and then adding it'd be a lot y'all have some weird or not really all y'all because i know i know it's not all y'all but there's some of y'all that have a weird fixation on me and ricky beefing it will never happen me and ricky have obviously had problems but mind you mind you this is why me and ricky will never fall out and even if we did y'all would never ever ever see on the internet because the two Two times me, me and Ricky have ever fallen out in the last, what, three years? It's never, ever, ever touched the internet. I've never subbed her. Like, it'll never, ever, ever be that because Ricky is a different type of friend. And also, also that extends on to not just Ricky. There's a few friends on top of Ricky that will never, ever, that will never, ever happen. No matter how bad the beef was, that shit will never touch the internet. Not for me first. Now, if that bitch popped me in my mouth because, like I said, ain't nobody done it yet, I'm gone have to swing back y'all know me even then those friends would never get it like how you know the two light-skinned roaches did or shit how the dwarf did you know what i mean it'll never it'll never ever ever happen because ricky and the friends that are in the same like level as her as far as my respect and my love and my like commitment to i would love them too much to even ever clap back and want anything like that to happen to them so even if no matter how mad i was i would just say my side of the story if it, this is if it touched the internet i would say my side of the story and people would just have to believe me or not honestly it would just have to be that i would never do that so if y'all could you know stop trying to assume that me and ricky are gonna fall out or that i'm gonna ever do something to her that'd be that'd be really really good but i honestly don't give a damn because we laugh at y'all every time y'all say shit like that like a girl commented something i made a, a post on my spam account let me see if i still have the screenshot a girl made a comment a few days ago this shit she was going in you would have thought this bitch was in ricky out this heifer said ricky better stay away from you it's not even how you carry the situation it's bringing it to the internet knowing motherfuckers gonna figure out who you're talking about you talking about your friend keeping it real which i agree but you can't hold motherfucking water with those loose lips it's like you have to exploit your friends for clicks and views 
Well, listen, listen here, you little bitch. One, the bitch not my friend no more. So if I wanted to come out here and tear that ass up, I could, but I still didn't do that. Two, when I told y'all about this friend, I purposely left shit out of the story. I purposely changed genders throughout the story. I purpose, I did so much. Y'all would never, ever, ever find that person out. Never. And the last time y'all ever even seen me talk to this person was months and months and months ago. So I know y'all don't know who I'm talking about. I can do that though. You know why? Because I'm Keith motherfucking Crawford. You get in my comment section one more time. I let it slide this time because I was fresh out my nap and I don't like to have to read straight about the, you know, slump. You do that shit again, I'm gonna give you a whooping. And I'm gonna tell you, turn around, pull your pants down, and if you start moving, I'm gonna make you lay down on the bed naked. So you don't want it with me. It's always, you know what? It's always a light skinned bitch with a blowout. I'm not gonna show her face because I'm not, I, I don't want no one to have to end up doing her in because I know how y'all get. Y'all just like me. Ignorant. <laughs> ignorant and crazy y'all so why does someone have the nerve to ask me a few days ago if i could buy them a macbook now listen um maybe y'all saw like oh he's got this car he's still in this is not paid off okay i did not i don't i don't buy shit in full i don't got i don't got it like that but you know this <laughs> remy love her down but she got about 48 more payments left on her broke bitch probably need it now yeah <laughs> Y'all know what we need to do is we need to get into we need to get into my sister um Lotto, okay? Let me see if my lottery ticket check hit. Oh my god, y'all! So Tory Lanez is in jail for ten years. We get a round of applause for that. You know, no, no, no. Let me calm down, cause you know what? I don't like to see more black men behind bars. But when you trigger happy, sometimes you gotta do that. And I hate how everyone's giving Megan so much like clap back for it. That bitch is a liar. That bitch ain't get shot. Da -da -da. Come on, like, can you bitches move? I like. This is why I hate white people. Look at this. this Move, bitch. But why would Megan lie? Like, I don't know what makes y'all think that woman would lie about getting shot. That's not cool. It's not cute. And then on top of that, like, on top of all that shit, right? On top of that being, like, the dumbest shot I've ever heard because, yeah, bitches definitely just got hollow tip fragments in their foot. Because that's just what, you know, not bones and ligaments. It's bullet shells and shit. I just feel like we gotta be a little realistic. I feel like no one even... Come on. His music was cool. It was good music. But it wasn't that good for y'all to be jucking and driving. I can understand, you know, if it was Beyonce... I. It, and, and even then, I'm still not gonna call that bitch no liar because why would she lie about that? You know, just say y'all hate black women. Just say y'all hate black women. Or if it's over some stand shit, that's crazy. And you know, people was like, she was just twerking. Oh, so bitches can't go have fun, right? She's gotta just be stuck in the house, depressed and scared of every other black man, right? Is that what you're, is that what you're trying to imply? Cause I know that's not what you're trying to imply. All I know is if I shot y'all mama's foot, I bet you that bitch be outside uh, trying to take me to court. Y'all hate me. Y'all hate me. So let's, you know, let's hop about my sister's nuts and let's let her breathe a little bit because y'all are you know gnawing on y'all so why this boy i'm not gonna know boy because he's actually like a grown man with a child at that he and i used to talk to each other before i moved out here or before i moved to la mind you the galaxy house me and him were talking when i moved to the galaxy house and didn't i just tell you i had someone come over i've always been a thought oh my god like i just got myself caught up and i just, anyway why this man randomly called me after us not talking for like a few months because he lives out here now and he had been trying to leak me but i was like no he got mad and then stopped talking to me for a few months but i didn't give a damn so then he randomly hits me up a you know what long story short i'm because i'm gonna say this gotta be a story time for when i'm doing something else because i'm about to be home and i was to you know i don't want to be in the car hot as shit i'm sorry it just it, maybe i'll save it for next week's video what i will tell y'all is why this man have the nerve to tell me if he ever catches me outside with any nigga he doesn't care where we are he's going to kill them what don't tell me that shit i'll get you put in jail you know you got you know you got warrants i'll tory lane your ass nigga you better stop that's unsafe like he's a, they don't stand on shit they don't be on shit i'm really out there like that like in the streets i really nigga you are from atlanta like please calm down that's where that's where my first mistake is i need to stop hanging out with atlanta bitches having a dog in texas is crazy especially like a husky is that not like animal abuse that big ass fur coat his heart gonna explode take that dog inside and put him in front of an ac Bro, bitch, how many of okay we're back home well i don't know how this video is gonna come out i don't know if this video is gonna be good bad annoying funny i don't know but y'all seem to uh, Ooh, that was that was trifling. It didn't smell like nothing. I don't I don't eat nothing but, you know, grapes and gum all damn day. It smells like really, really good, actually. See, these brands be hitting me up on that bullshit. Like, my name is Juck and Jivo. I don't know why they don't leave me alone, but it's actually starting to really make me really, really mad. And why did I cuss so much after I just said I was going to try not to? I told y'all I lied. God, I've been lying to y'all for a very long time. And I didn't want to tell y'all this because I was embarrassed and I was scared. But I'm just going to tell y'all now because we so locked in. I feel like I got to be transparent with y'all. So, um...
me and Ricky aren't cousins. I lied to y'all. A lot of times me and Ricky play and we'll say shit. Like she had to say something about um, doing me on a counter and then I said, do I want to like lift her up on it? I just, it was it was getting real nasty. Someone said, wait, aren't y'all cousins? And no. Why would y'all think that me and Ricky were cousins? People say we look alike. I think it's just when you're a really, really pretty bitch and are around somebody a lot, your pretty will get onto them. So that's why when I started hanging around Ricky, she also got like prettier. But don't tell her I said that. I'm just clocking tea. Nah, but yeah, me and Ricky aren't cousins. And I would tell y'all the most stupidest stories and y'all would believe it. And maybe because y'all just have trust in me. And I need, I just felt like I I tell story times a lot and people already think those be fake. Because I would definitely make up me getting almost robbed on a sneaky link because that's the tea. But no, um, yeah, that bitch not my cousin. That's just some bitch I met on TikTok. So awkward but lastly y'all before we end up we have to do our k mob call out k mob call out k mob call out i'm calling out all the bad bitches we making all the sad sad bitches we getting all the mad mad riches hey it's the call out these are some people that i've noticed from twitter the spam account and the um youtube comments because y'all matter too i fuck with y'all because y'all the ones who be commenting y'all get Girl, why I thought I was about to hit me? I did a bunch of names this time, and I made sure to have the names already out for me because, you know, I'd be trying to look, and then only be three of y'all, and I feel that's not fair to y'all. So, I want to give a shout-out to Rello, to Chase, at Camp Mirage. Those are my sisters on Twitter. Um, Also on Twitter, Icy Gal Alley. As it's Icy Gal and Ally like Stally, that's a real cunt, real tea. They have a Beyonce uh, profile picture. I Beyonce, I think they're also on Twitter, and I also see them on my um spam account comments too. That they're they're real, they're real real. I see them a lot. I also want to give a shout out to Call Nini, Jermaine, Limar. I don't know if it's Limar or Lamar, and I just spit. I hope y'all didn't see that on camera. That's embarrassing. This throat is stupid wet. I'm I don't know what to tell y'all. Jermaine, Limar, Brian, Dom, Too Fake, Seven, Lori Spice, or like Glory Spice. They're also from Twitter, I believe. I to give a shout out to my bitch angel um angel's also another tiktoker they do tiktok and i actually be like i be i be kind of on the t angel you're messy but you you do it better than me so you don't come off as messy i respect that i also want to give a shout out to kia k8740 and raya raya is one of my new friends i made out here in houston she's really really sweet and oh my god i think she texted me earlier Ooh, let me text her back anywho that's all the names that we have for today um wait there's actually two names i forgot megan's curse jaylene i think your name is and spice nika love y'all down like you always hyping me up I just love y'all for that it makes me feel really good so y'all too I love you guys so much I appreciate all you guys' support you guys mean the world to me I'm about to get up out this walking easy bake oven it's hot as hell outside it's still 108 degrees and it's 630 that's not crazy appreciate y'all so much love y'all 100 times kisses on both cheeks bye damn I smacked the camera hella hard